Hey everyone, what's up? This is Tim from SoundHD and in this video I'll be showing you the best Twitter client so I'm absolutely sure you can guys guess it. You can, right? Yes, this is TweetDeck and their official website is called TweetDeck.com so as you can see on the top you, you can have it on your desktop, on your iPhone and on your iPad which is absolutely great. For this video I need the desktop version and as you can see it works on Mac, Windows and Linux so this is another great plus for TweetDeck and now I'll show you how easy it is uh, to install and start using TweetDeck just hit that button click open install continue and we're almost done this is very fast installation and the program at all is very light and as you can see I'm logged in and we are done this is the overall look of TweetDeck as you can see it's very simple and easy to navigate it's a very slick application and let's start from the top here I have a compose update button so you just uh, type your update and I'm done as you can see I have it on my Twitter profile and this is how easily you can tweet from TweetDeck and uh, second you have an add column button so you can have uh, a search column Come from groups, which is another uh, great feature about TweetDeck. You can have, you can manage your uh, leads and groups right from the application, or you can choose one from the core. You can have uh, a favorites com or a new followers com. That's how easily you can add coms in TweetDeck. Um, now let's move on. As you can see, TweetDeck uses um, coms, so. Here I have a mentions column, which is basically uh, replies. Uh, I have a direct messages. This is the, mes the messages I have sent, and an all friends, which is basically um, the tweets from the people I'm following. And down on each group, there are several buttons. There's uh, show what is popular in this column button. You can filter uh, this column. You can mark all as seen. You can clear scene updates, you can clear all, or you can just move it. That's how easily you can arrange um, the cones in TweetDeck. Next, as you can see, there uh, again a couple of buttons right in the bottom of the application. So it's showing you the account you're using and the next update. Next, as you can see, on the top we have uh, several more buttons. You can refresh, you can uh, single comma view, just like this. And you can you have a settings panel. So here on general you can enable keyboard shortcuts, you can have when press enter to send an update, you can open photo links in a web page, you can pretty much have anything you want. Just play around with this. Uh, for Twitter you can have a uh, show follower count in tweets, you can hide previously sent direct messages or you can auto include hashtags when replying. You can also uh, change what the retweet button uh, should do. Uh, for the Twitter updates this is another great thing about TweetDeck. You can have um, the time each column is updated, uh, you can manually change this to whatever you want so you can uh, make this uh, fit your uh, needs so as you can see play around with this and find your best way of updating your columns for the notifications you can have details on or uh, details on and off you can have summary on and off and you can change the position of the notification uh, window you can also change the volume of the notification sound and the only bad thing about TweetDeck the only um, downside about TweetDeck is that you can change the notification sound it's a very annoying sound 
and you can change it. I really hope we can see some customization about the three deck sounds, maybe some uh, more variety of sounds or probably custom sounds. So I really hope they can update this. Then comes colors and fonts. You can change the primary, secondary, background colors, text colors and stuff. For services you can change um, the shortened URL services, the Twitter images services. For accounts you can add as many accounts as you want and, uh, and another great thing about TweetDeck is that you can manage your whole social media from right from this application. For example you can add your Facebook account, your MySpace account and your LinkedIn account. Let me show you how to add my, MySpace, my Facebook account. Just type in uh, your uh, email and password click connect and it will connect to your Facebook so as you can see I now have my Facebook and, and for the Sync you can create a TweetDeck account and you can follow TweetDeck and then just click save changes and now as you can see I have Facebook uh, but uh, when it's like dark you basically this means you're not using it. so when you just click it now this means that I can post an update to both my Facebook and my Twitter so that's how easily you can um, see if you're using Facebook or your Twitter accounts. So if I uncheck both of these, I can now, uh, I now can post an update. Basically, there's no place. So this should indicate uh, what accounts you're using. You can also add uh, more accounts just from the plus button right here. And you have some more buttons down below. You have an upload, a photo button. You can Twitch ring an update you can translate an update and you can see the recent hashtags you can also auto shorten URLs which basically means when you type a URL and this is checked it will automatically shorten this for you and here it shows you the charters that uh, have left and you can also drag photos and links right in this uh, update box and it will automatically shrink the link and upload the photo to a Twitter service you're using. So that's basically uh, TweetDeck. You can hear uh, the question at the question button. You can launch on TweetDeck support or you can just log out. So this is TweetDeck, a very impressive um, piece of software. I will, I will stick with this probably forever. I can't see any better application for TweetDeck. So if you haven't used it already, if you haven't heard about TweetDeck, check it out. All the links will be in the sidebar. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and stuff. This will be in the description. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.